What's going on, guys? Ladies, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Welcome back to the Talking Gas podcast. As always, keep up the quality support. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. We're on the road to 7,000 subscribers. And as always, leave your thoughts down below. Let me know what you thought of the game, whether you went to the game, whether you watched it at home. But yeah, Rovers end up with a narrow 1-0 defeat away from home, unfortunately. Yeah, our away record isn't good, but, you know, I'm not going to say anything bad, to be honest. Um, not about Rovers anyway, about a few things other than Rovers. But to be honest with you, first of all, like I've said on my post already, you know, you can't fault the the effort, the togetherness, you know, the amount of, yeah, things Rovers put into that game because... At the end of the day, that's that's what we asked for. But you know, we've we've not seen it from some games, um, especially away from home. You talk about like effort and stuff like that. But yeah, today can't fault um, the lads. Obviously, apart from Shatford, but I get into that. But yeah, going into the game, I was happy. We stuck with the sort of same team. Made a couple of changes. Mola come back to play against the club that let him go at the end of last season. But yeah, I thought we we started pretty well, to be honest. Um, you know, we, we look quite good going forward. I think that's the two of you chance. That was our main chance, I think, in the first half. That's the two of you chance. He's got to bury it, personally. But, you know, Reading did look good. They were really quick in transition, you know, two, three passes, and they were on the edge of our box. Um, but a lot of the stuff we managed to deal with, I think their biggest chance in the first half came through Sam Smith. I thought Corner Taylor was excellent, but he, you know, sort of, Dallied on the ball and Sam Smith probably should have scored, but Griffiths with a really, really good save. But it then sort of turns in the second half, 10 minutes in, Shackford was already on a yellow. And yeah, first of all, it was a foul on him. Uh, the ref didn't give it. The ref give it the other way. Shackford kicked the ball away and I said straight away in that way. And I said, yeah, he's gone. Um, yeah, really stupid really naive he shouldn't be doing that he knows he's already on a yellow you shouldn't be doing nothing stupid and then we thought oh you know here we go again Rovers never do well with 10 men of course we did go and concede 10 minutes after Shaq got sent off yeah it was a good finish um got um Sam Smith got in between the defense and yeah um put it through Griffith's legs but fair play good finish um and then you think you know, is that going to be one, two, three, or are Rovers going to show something? And yeah, we showed something, to be fair. Like I said, I I can't fault any of them. It might have looked a bit weird with like Mola playing left mid, Belongo at front, because all the other strikers uh, were either injured, obviously Promise went off in the first half. But yeah, we, we showed everything. We showed belief, character, togetherness, effort. You know, every single person on that pitch, you, you know, you can't say anything bad. Um, you know, apart from Shaq and, you know, you can't say anything about bad about the manager either. And what I will say, the ref and the lino, I mean, you could say it every week that the officiating is an absolute disgrace, absolute shambles. But today, honestly, every time Reading fell over, he gave a free kick. Uh, every time we fell over, he didn't. And uh, the, the, the most, the worst thing for me was when Belongo, clearly onside, on the left-hand side, crosses it in. Their player and balls, it should have been a pen, and the lino wouldn't even up with play, gives it offside. It, that was an absolute joke. And then, yeah, we we were so close come the end there. Goalie Pereira, the ex-United keeper, was, I think, their man of the match in the end. He kept a minute, and um, it's so, so frustrating to not get a single thing, not even a point. Um, I think we were the better team with 10 men. We created quite a lot. We moved it round well. Um, and yeah, we should have got something in the end, but we didn't, unfortunately. Um, unfortunately, it's another defeat. I think that's, what is it, five away defeats? But like I said, apart from that, you know, losing, of course, I can't fault anything. We deserve something. Officiating was an absolute joke. Um, you know, we went for it. We actually looked quite good with 10 men. And yeah, in the end, it's a, a defeat. But let me know your thoughts. Leave a like on the video. Keep up the quality support. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Up the gas.